Anna, my daughter. The year we spent on the road gave me time to think about things. Respect, responsibilities, duties. They all mean nothing compared to what's important. My family, you. I'm sorry, I only got it now. I'll go through this snow-covered graveyard with a sieve, if that's what it takes to find the cure. As for Artyom, he feels his guilt. He wants to atone. I'll just have to see that atonement doesn't cost him his life. The important part is that I'm back in Metro, and no mutant can stop me here. Radiation on the surface is different, though. Frankly, I thought I was buying a one-way ticket for myself going in. You said you were close, but why do you need the Institute? You are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. But now, thanks to the green stuff given to us by Kirill, we both have a chance to achieve the goal and survive. So, Private, our team left. I'd better get ready to set out, too. What about me, Colonel, sir? You'll stay here. I'm putting you in charge of communications. I need someone to coordinate the operation. Can you handle the responsibility? Yes, sir. I can. Good. By the way, Private, how did you live here before the riots, when there was still enough green stuff to go around? Uh, we did all right. But my dad was always out on a mission or a patrol. So, you barely saw him? Oh, no. Dad did his best to come home earlier, especially on the holidays. We even spent the last New Year's together. As I sit in Kirill's shelter, listening to his story, the picture of life in Novosibirsk Metro starts coming together, piece by piece. And it turns out to be not too different from what I got used to back in Moscow. Common citizens live their common lives, while people with power and skills protect those civilians from the dangers of this world. Sometimes fighting heroically for all to admire, but more often slaving somewhere out of the way, doing things like burning off the slime and worms, eating away at the systems, keeping the whole metro alive. to remind you to burn all the slime around the bombs once you reach them. Uh-oh, I say the slime is done for. Colonel Klebnikov himself is taking up the flamethrower. <laughs> Don't jinx it. As for flamethrower, where is it? Here you go, Colonel, sir. Mind you, it's quite heavy. I know. Is it pressurized? It should be, but I'll still check. The handle's on the side. Give it a pump or two if needed. Ah, uh, if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Give Slime some hell, too. We'll do just that, sir. We certainly will. Break a leg. Break both. Oh. It's huge! Older to all groups. I just saw a fully grown worm, so watch out. Older, red one here. Roger that. Red two, roger. Red three, roger that, sir. Good.
Red 3, you don't need explosives. Just find the valve that stops the water flow. Roger that, Alder. Alder, Red 3 here. I found the valve and it's proceeding as planned. Good job, Red 3.
How's it going on your side? Everything fine? Yes, pretty much. What's up with you? Do you have any spare fuel? I didn't expect that shit to grow so thick here. Nice. Thank you. Also, that shit did grow like crazy. Ah, I think I got it. <laughs> I really did. All right, I'll go catch up with the guys. Good hunt. You too.
turns all red and shouts, No green stuff for you this month! And I go, Really? Then I'm doing no work this month! Fix the pumps yourself, you asshole! So, that was it for that job.
had maintenance on the line. They say the water's flowing again. They are sending a team to handle the rest. Mission complete. Great. Thank you. At ease, gentlemen. You did a great job there. Thank you, Colonel, sir. We were on sweep-up duty after you, sir. Ah, cut that. Sweep-up duty. Sure. <laughs> on behalf of OSCOM, I'm issuing an official commendation. We serve OSCOM. <laughs> great. Well, get out of those suits and go rest. Take that suit off and put the flamer down, please. They have to be scrubbed for radiation. You'll also be getting a shot of green stuff at the checkpoint. All call. You just took a week's worth of exposure, at least. Good. Thank you. Right. Here. Thank you, and goodbye, Colonel, sir. Come aboard, Colonel, sir. Thank you. Hey, guys, get aboard. We give you lift to prospect. Thank you, sir, but we're waiting for the transport from HQ. There's enough space for everyone. Good luck, then. Let's go, Petrovich. Yes, sir. <laughs> Report your situation. Over. Mission accomplished, Comrade General. I'm mostly done, Doria. The worms are all toast. The guys will handle the mop up, and I'm heading home. It's New Year's Eve, after all. Sure thing, Slava. Who else would you turn to for understanding if not for another single pilot? Well, you've got it easy. I hear your son's a captain already. Wow. Give my congratulations oh, to Serioka, by the way. We're planning a little party on January 2nd. Family life. For now, though, just drop by my place and then have your rest. Roger that. Over and out. HQ out. Up your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot. Uh, uh, no, please. I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest then. Thank you. Uh, don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Krasne Prospect. <laughs> Granddaughter getting worse? No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her, even though we moved to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can, just in case. It's not easy, but we survive, and that's what counts. Yeah, but enough about us. <laughs> Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petrovich. That we did. <laughs> uh, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just grow even thicker next time. Like it always does. And you see, the pumps are failing. It's because of that slime. And they've been working non-stop for 20 years. 
Ah, oh, no, this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. And soon the old counter flooding system will give up the ghost. <laughs> we'll have to robots here. <laughs> You'd make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too. Hello. Please, spare me. Your singing is an atrocity. Sir. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir. Please proceed. The general is expecting you. Take the initiative to do something. You must be ready to see the thing you started to the end. Dismiss. Sir, yes, sir. Hello, sir. I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. There's been a new development here while you were out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. Background radiation? Yes, stalkers brought this in from the SATCOM center. And now, I want your people to go there and find the fresh ones. Detailing the whole country so that we know where to go. Take this under personal control and ensure complete secrecy. Okay? Go, Tolia. Cut to the chase. Are we preparing an evacuation? All right. This is strictly between us, mind you. Yes. We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps for now. Why the secrecy? It's good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the good news for last. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. Well, Happy New Year! Uh, wait a second. Better get home now. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. A one-month allowance for two. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold you any longer unless... How about some tea? <sighs> you do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Seryoga doing? <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course I can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Oh, it definitely does. He used to be on the soft side. Like his mom. He really toughened up now. You were always hard on him. Almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and I speak as someone who's been watching you too, I think you're doing amazingly well. He's growing up a real man! An Oscom fighter. <laughs> yes, he is a huge fan of all things Oscom. We're like superheroes in his eyes. A bit chilling, actually. But we are heroes. We're saving who we can, and it's all for our children's sake. What could be chilling in that? He still doesn't understand many things, and idealizes us. Thinks we are knights without fear and beyond reproach, but real life is... complicated. You must do certain things. And then look into his eyes, thinking, would he understand if I told him about that? And that day will come. Kirill is a real man. He will understand. A real hero, Slava, isn't someone flexing his muscles and wearing shiny armor. 
A hero is someone who does what needs to be done. He may get splashed with dirt, even blood sometimes, but he still does the thing because it is necessary. Understanding this makes a man a man. Mm, maybe. But it's quite close to the ends justify the means from there, though. Oh, come on. Such a soppy load of crap. Oh, the ends justify the means. You can't say that. Those are bad, bad words. Shame on you. Our philosophy professor, Maria Ivanovna, told us that. What I say, they do. How else would you achieve anything? You sacrifice something to get somewhere. Did this ever work differently? Do they always? All right. You got me there. You're right. That's how you achieve things. But I always thought that it was a question of sincerity, if they do or not. Being sincere with yourself first and foremost. <laughs> that was deep. Philosophical-like. I bet you took Maria Ivanovna's advanced course, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I think I'll get going now. Yes, Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go. Go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a happy new year. I'll be working on my speech in the meantime. Hate making public addresses, but the occasion calls for it. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations.